Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with race highlights for 2024 Monaco Grand Prix, and I'm so freaking excited. We got Leclerc starting at the front of the field. We got Verstappen starting at starting at six. We got Perez starting at 18th. This race is going to be absolutely crazy. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up. Let's do it. Of the great motor races begins in five lights time. And the Monaco Grand Prix is underway. We get the launch from the line from Charles Leclerc. He's going to maintain the lead. Ooh. Could be second place for Ferrari. They go side by side with Piastri and Sainz duking it out. But the Australian driver kept second place. The top four, the top five as they were. As Leclerc gets the launch that he needed. But is that a problem? Is that oh. an issue? Looks like the sparks out of the back of the car for Sainz. He has got a problem. He's Ooh. off and he's out. Oh Carlos Sainz God. on the opening lap. Was the wheel banging between those two? God, Carlos out on the opening lap is crazy. That sucks for Ferrari. They were in great places. That sucks. Oh, because wow. the Spanish driver is out on the opening lap of the Grand Prix. Wow. There must have been a touch then. Signs of Piastri. Piastri was so brave at the first corner, hanging it around the outside. The wall then pinches in on the exit, and there must have been a slight touch between them. Watch Piastri. Watch Oscar Piastri in second place. He's all over the back of the Scarlet Ferrari, yeah, trying to is. chase his way by. Can he force his way past the Nouvelle Chicane? Would have been bold. But the McLaren firing up their tyres so quickly. One Ferrari out immediately, and the red flag is flying oh, on that one of 78. Oh, that's a big crash that we didn't see further back. Most important thing to see. Look, no front left, no front right. But Perez, thankfully, out of the car. What and a happened? huge amount oh of debris. God. But extraordinarily, four cars out on the opening lap. This is the touch there for Sainz. Oh, it's a little one, but just carbon oh. fibre there at the edge of the floor for Piastri. And Sainz knows he's got to puncture immediately. Watch Perez, it's going to be down the inside. It's Magnussen oh with the clip God. that causes the accident. Oh and that's a massive hit God. into the wall. He doesn't back out, does he? He just never, it's not in his DNA for Kevin Magnussen to back out. So Perez must have had a pretty bad start to be down there with both Haas cars. So Hulkenberg might get a view of this. Or was he, the, I think he was ahead, wasn't he? Oh, that's Perez ahead. So Magnussen sneaks up the inside of Hulkenberg. Yeah, Magnussen's going to be on the right-hand side. That's where the contact is going to be. Well, I mean, Magnussen will say that Perez should have opened, given him a bit more space to go side by side up there. Are you okay, Nico? Ah, uh, damn it. My God. Thank God everybody walked away from that. No injuries, nothing. That car is destroyed. Gosh, that's just scary. That was unnecessary. Yeah. That's just so scary. So this is going to be the, the angle, I think. There's the gap, and he's already Ooh, touched what? the wall himself and then just keeps his foot in. He just never backs out. He's on 10 points on his license. You'd think he'd be cautious at the moment. That, that's going to be him gone. My that is days. Esteban Ocon chancing one at Portier. The two Ooh. Alpines come together. What did he do? What did he do? What did he try to attack me? Red oh yeah, that just wasn't smart. That was dumb. That was... I understand you gotta try to go for the overtake, but come on, you got to be safe. Damn it, oh. You got to be safe. I can tell safe. you, Ocon is in the garage, having his car looked at, and that is why. Wow. We were able to establish an order, but the order for the restart has been given as signs in third position. That is a huge let off for the Spanish driver. So he's back in third. We're underway and racing. Oh, he got so lucky. How did he? Y'all got to talk to me in the comment section. How was Signs actually put back in third in this moment? That's that's very surprising. Once again on the streets of Monaco. Wow. Looks like a good launch for Oscar Piastri. He's got nowhere to go, though. Charles Leclerc maintains the lead once again. Lando Norris was close with Carlos Sainz, but it's George Russell who's got the better traction with that medium tyre. Can he get close? No, he can't. Top five, top six, as they were off the line. Will we make our way through this sequence of corners? Unscathed this time, we will. And everyone will be trying to bring the tyre temperature in. I can't imagine Lap he's 15. feeling too comfortable there. He's, he is measuring the pace. He can fluctuate it as he likes. He's now on this lap a second slower than the lap before. And that's why Piastri is right with him. But when you have the bright yellow car in your mirror, that, close, that was less than three tenths into the best overtaking place on the circuit. Piastri is only about half a car from throwing a lunge. That You can't be sitting too comfortable if you're in that position. This is really close now. 
Shell's landing, I guess, because that was close with just one lap in my extended. Yeah, Carlos he's observing. Sides. Agrees with Jolyon Palmer. And Aston Martin can do something here because they have both cars 11th and 12th. They are now giving up Alonso's race to get a big gap to uh, to Stroll. So Stroll can have a pit stop and go and attack Gasly. So Alonso's managing this pace still. Even though he's on a medium tyre, he's just keeping Ricardo here and it's frustrating for a driver that's on so many big lunge overtakes in his career. He's not Fernando able to do one just well. yet. And my word, Lance Stroll is making a pit stop. Something is happening in the uh, pit lane in front of us. 2.3 seconds and all of Alonso's work has built a gap for his Canadian teammate. Just for your info, I think you have a round. I mean, do you want to know the margin? No, Charles, we're not interested, we know. You said all right. No, we are not interested. That's rude. <laughs> That's rude. Oh no, Stroll's got a puncture. Stroll has oh a puncture and his amble up to the back of Pierre Gasly will not happen. That's the carcass off the rim. Stroll back to the pit lane and that deletes the chance of seeing some pressure late on. God it's damn. It's Bottas, driver in 13th position. And he's in 13th oh. position because he's going to go to the Ooh. inside. And we've got an overtake at Monaco. That was nice. Valtteri Bottas gets by. He's past Logan Sargent at Mirabeau. What a move. Best of the race. And it's very fast at this stage of that tunnel Lance for Lance Stroll, who had to back off, but did eventually get through down to the Nouvelle Chicane on those soft tyres. He had better tyres, got the run on acceleration, but then had a moment of doubt. It's an overtaking Bonanza. Another one for <laughs> another Stroll. Another one. He's Ooh. got another driver and he goes past Logan Sargent. Oh, my word. More than a brush. Oh. Double touch there, I think, from uh, Joe and Sargent. I would say the, the highlights reel of this one is not going to be the oh longest. My yeah, God. good luck to the editor. Good luck to the editor. And this is Logan Sargent overtaking Joe Guan Yu and getting up to 15th place. And he did that whilst he was Logan. making his way through the traffic. In 2017, Charles Leclerc lost his father, Dang. and in his final days, he told his father a white lie, that he'd made it to Formula One, that he'd signed the contract. Wow. It wasn't true then, but his driving has made it true now, and look what he's done with the opportunity. The grandstands he saw built as a kid growing up now rise for him, and for the first time in 93 years, this fabled race is won by one of their own Charles Leclerc wins the Monaco Grand Prix to achieve his dream victory in his Dang. home race well done Charles Leclerc it's mission Very accomplished well destiny well fulfilled you've got that one forever we won it finally yes <laughs> yes <laughs> Dang. yes yes, yes, yes. When what your are the home points race now? includes memories of waiting with your friends to get on the school bus, when he's looking up at the balcony where he first watched the Grand Prix, that's more than special. That's pure emotion for Charles Leclerc. And the Dang. party starts right now for Monaco's favourite son, and even the Prince is getting in on the action, because when one of your own have won the most famous Grand Prix of the lot, Gosh, this is close. The clear right there on Max Verstappen, but then Lando and Carlos move past Checo. Ah, Red Bull. It might be some problems on your hands this season. You've got to pass it. Some issues. That's all we got. That was crazy. Make sure y'all subscribe. Ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. It's your boy Dinia, out.